Good evening, ladies. My name is Vero uh, with uh, Vero's Crochet Adventures. Today is Wednesday, March 24th. Um, welcome to my channel <clears throat> where I will be talking about yarn, threads, uh, mostly like, I'm not going to, mostly the, the type of, uh, yarn or thread that you would want to use if you live down in the south where it is hot and humid and where the seasons that we have are um, hot and hotter that's it except every 100 years you know when uh it freezes and it snows and then it kills all your plants here in texas <clears throat> anywho <laughs> uh, thank you I have 135 or 136 subscribers thank you so much uh, for uh, helping me go to 136 I am really grateful I'm thankful and I thank you so very much I thank you for all the comments and uh, I hope you guys don't get tired of like the next I don't know few videos or a bit more than that of a lot of uh, different unboxings teeny weeny ones not very very large ones I'm not going to show you big you know uh, met, uh, metric ton <laughs> of a uh, order of yarn or anything like that but I hope that you guys enjoy the stuff that I do buy and uh, show you guys today it's all about knit crate I didn't open this one on purpose because I have January and February to show you guys as well. Or maybe it's December, January, and February that I'm showing you. I don't remember. No, January and February and March <clears throat> that I have. So, um, I had been waiting for the opportune time to show you guys this video and I'm I had the one where I'll show you guys the great reveal which I'm not finished yet and I don't know when I will be I think I'll just start showing you guys little by little you know what I have here um I've been you know I was working on that and then you know some of the unboxings and then it was that little giveaway thing and then uh some of the Dollar Tree and some of my beautiful hooks that I ordered uh, that are right there. I should show you guys those hooks again because that video did not get very many views. Maybe it was because of that, uh, picture that I used. Um, <clears throat> I've been playing with that. I'm trying to, uh, get, uh, some good ideas, uh, going, uh, so that I could be able to post better photographs or those screenshots or whatever it is that thumbnail thumbnails so today I am going to show you January's February's and March's knit crate I do not get the regular monthly subscription this is the sock um, membership I don't I, I was looking at the stuff that I already have from knit crate and I love it I still don't know what to make with it. Um, I may give some away in some future giveaways. Um, and uh, I may, uh, I don't know when I will start working with it. I would like to start working with it soon. But, okay, here we go. I don't remember which one I got for January. Oh, I think it was this one. So January is about shadows, I suppose. That's what it says. Shadows, right? January knit crate featured tree planting project. I don't know. The, um, oh, okay. They're talking about what they featured. This month they were supporting the restoration project in San Marcos, Mangrove in Guatemala. 
mangrove forests along Guatemala's Pacific coastal marine zone are essential to regional environmental stability and critical to the livelihoods of thousands of coastal people who make a living from fishing and tourism. Okay. So that's what this one's about. That's what they did. So they were working on a on a project for the trees. Oh my God, sorry, I keep getting stuck on this. Five minutes already. I'm trying to make this quick. So this is the one I got. I need to read these when I get them. I didn't even know about this. It's pretty cool. I want to read about it. So this is what I got. I have that. It's from Uru U R U Yarn. I have some that I have bought at, at a yarn store boutique before, and I've gotten some in from Knit Crate as well. This is Twinkle Toes, and it's 55% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 15% kid mohair, 10% stellina. There are 400 yards in 100 grams. I love it. Look at this. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Yeah, it's true to color right here. Pretty, huh? I don't know what to make with it yet. <clears throat> so that's what I got for February, which says it was unwind. And... So they, they, <laughs> Knit Crate um, does this for, like, period. And they just support different areas. Wow, this is pretty cool. So for, for the month of February, they were supporting their project in Malawi. They will be planting indigenous forest trees in cooperation with the support of local communities who will receive well water pumps and fruit trees. The goal of this project is to decrease pressure on mature indigenous forests, provide firewood for local communities, and thereby end endless cycle of women carrying firewood for miles. Oh, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so this is the sock crate. Uh, this is what I got this time, Vidalana. And this Vidalana is 70% superwash merino, 10% silk, and 10% stellina, and 10% nylon. Okay, 400 yards, 100 grams. And look, isn't it beautiful? It's soft. It is really soft. These look so pretty together, though. And both of them are 400 yards. And they're the same weight, except this one has silk in it. <clears throat> Yeah, silk. Ooh. And this one has nylon. And kid mohair. They're both gorgeous, though. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Okay. And now, for March, I have not seen this. Oh, for January, I got a squishy ball. And then for... um. February, I got a heart with little beads in it that you could throw in the freezer in case you have a headache. Ooh. March 2021, heartstrings. So maybe I did get like what I was supposed to get for February in March. And what I was supposed to get <clears throat> in, I got in March, what I was supposed to get in February. So this, for the month of March, they're supporting their tree planting and regeneration efforts in Texas. <laughs> in Texas, which includes these projects, the non-native invasive species treatments of reforestation project will release long leaf seedlings from Chinese tallow and sweet gum the treatment consists of mechanical separation of stems and foliar spraying of target species to help aid natural regeneration and maintain the long leaf habitat. Wow. 
I need to read more about this, but this is, I love this. I didn't even know Knit Crate did this. I don't know if they show this in the other ones, but this is pretty cool. The sock crate, the membership crate for this one feature, features Odding Wool's Romance, 70% Merino Wool and 30% Tencel, Aran weight. So wow, they all tell you? No, they don't all say it. I need glasses. Now I'm excited. I don't even know what color it is yet. Ooh, ooh, this is different. means but it's funny this is dreamy sock oh look at the cut it looks it doesn't look so pretty right now like this but I can appreciate it right there that's so pretty it's like a little cinnamon color no not cinnamon I don't know it's pretty what color is it I don't know what color it is, but it's 60% superwash merino. No, superwash blue faced la lacester wool. Oh my God, I know I messed that up. 20% <clears throat> alpaca and 20% nylon. What the heck? So why in the world is this saying something? Oh, never mind. Okay. No, step over there. There you go. Yeah, go with Daddy right now. Thank you. She spilled a gallon of paint in my yarn room earlier today. Okay, so I was... Oh, wow. So you can pick different kinds. I don't know if it, we'll still be able to do that in the future or not, but this one is fingering weight. And so you would either, you could either get the Odding Wool's Romance or Odding Wool's Dreamy Sock. And I got fingering weight, thank goodness. So I'm glad I got these. Although, I mean, I like this color, but I could have gone for that lime green they have or whatever. <clears throat> and... Yeah, so it's two different kinds. Anyways, I still love it. It's so pretty. Look at that. I would have never picked this. I Or I probably would have. I don't know. But look how pretty it is. I love it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. January, February, March. And... With that being said, I wanted to jump on the bang wagon and uh, give you guys my, my very, very humble opinion. I received an email like everyone else did and uh, I read the email <clears throat> and I read about... Uh, I read everything they had to say, you know, the struggles that Knit Crate is having. I was not familiar or aware of those because I was not getting um, Knit Crate yarn last year. Uh, I wasn't able to get it until this year again. And um, I really, I like, with the exception of all the purples that I got that one time, I still like it. I, it's super soft. I love touching it. I still have it here. I still don't know what to make with it. But it's so soft. And it's so... It's soft. Real soft. Um, I like them. I love these these yarns. And I was watching Cinnamon Stitches this morning. And I saw her video. And I do agree with her as far as the price. Well, I'm paying right now. I'm paying $19.99 for this yarn for a month 
the monthly thing. I don't remember what, what the sock one is going to go up to. But even at $19.99, the stuff that I'm getting, um, I showed you guys some of the yarn that I bought at a at my local yarn store boutique. Give me a second. Okay. I showed you guys this one. Okay. These were $28 a skein. And this is superwash merino and nylon. Okay. This is superwash merino silk and uh, st stellina and nylon and i got this for 19.99 and this one is 14.99 right normally unless you get it for 30 percent <laughs> i'm about to be off so i feel that I felt that at the, I feel that I'm getting a steal with my at 1999, you know. Ooh, it smells good. Mm, it smells good. It reminds me of the rodeo or something. Anywho, so I feel that it's worth it. It, it I felt that it's worth it and um I agree with um with her as far as you know the the price and and the quality that you're getting the quality of yarn that you're getting for the price is awesome i don't i am not going to jump off the bandwagon right now that they are going through some tough times um i know exact well not at that level but i mean it's not easy trying to uh, cope through everything that's going on. So I just feel that if we stick together and support, you know, support them uh, and help them out, we're also helping more families, right? Keep their jobs, etc. And we're supporting something that we really like. And uh, that's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, that's it. That was my little opinion i'm not an expert or a pro but when i was comparing it you know if you want to compare apples to apples you know 19.99 28 dollars this one is also super wash merino and um and nylon right and this was still 20 26.75 you know um so you're getting some beautiful yarn for for not very much so and now especially that i've been able to i'm so curious as to who they're going to help like next month and the month after that so they're they're helping you know so they're they're doing some awesome stuff i can't believe she's in this room i told her she was banned and she's in here but um they're doing some awesome stuff as well. So, um, this, this really won me over. Like, the price and the product is amazing. But when I see that someone's trying to do stuff like this, that is what touches my heart. And that's what's going to make, that's what made me, right now as I was opening up the other yarn, as I was reading these cards, that's what made it official that I'm going to stick around with Knit Crate with the sock yarn at least and I am going to stick with them I don't care if they switch it over to where I don't get to pick a colorway or anything like that um I like being surprised you know I go and I pick enough yarn as it is so that's kind of like a little nice little surprise for me um I really have to go now it's been 20 minutes anyway so I hope you guys have a great evening. Um, I can't wait. To, oh my God, I just stared at the light again. I cannot wait to use that light. <clears throat> it's dimming down because I was charging it and then I charged it for like five minutes and I decided to test it out. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and say goodbye for a long, 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 long time. I will see you guys 
in another video when I talk about me undoing the sleeves and how I worked up the new ones. Have a great evening.